Three, two, one. Bang! We're live. Righto. Hopefully, you can hear me. I remember to turn my mic on this time, I think, so uh, that's all good. Today, uh, good show coming up. We've got uh, Tim Robinson from uh, Aussie Bikers, which is the only Australian-made uh, lifestyle motorcycle program on at the moment. And uh, so he's the producer and cameraman of that show and a friend of mine. So uh, <clears throat> thought I'd get him along to talk today. And also we've got the uh, announcement of the deal for uh, of the how you get 500 bucks worth of free stuff from our online store. So we'll get to that shortly. Rightio. Just like to welcome everybody. Uh, there's plenty of new people online at the moment. I'm just having a look through now. I've got I've got like three computers set up and the phone and all sorts of bloody tech wizardry here. But um, before we uh, before we get on to the $500 giveaway, I would like to introduce my good buddy, Mr. Tim Robinson. How you going, Tim? Good, mate. How are you, Benno? Good. Now, um, I stuffed up last live and uh, didn't have the audio up for the guest loud enough. So, can Tim, can you just ask the fans out there if they can hear you all right? Hi, everyone. Can you hear my voice? G'day, g'day. How's that? Well, getting some thumbs I, up or I anything? I can hear you. I'm just waiting to see what goes on. <laughs> well, there's a bit of a delay, obviously, so we'll see what happens. Yep. Um, all right, cool. I'm so sure someone's going to let us know. Oh, there's plenty of thumbs up coming through. So, yep, I got a yep. Yep, we can hear you, man. Good. Excellent. All righty. So, for those of you that don't know Tim, and you probably won't because he's not the guy on the front of the camera usually, he's on the guy on the back end of it. And uh, he's uh, not just a cameraman, he's uh, he's a. Um, oh, I forgot to turn <laughs> notifications off on my phone. Hang on a second, just bear with me two ticks. I just, I just better um, sort that out. Hang on a second. So Tim's gone blank for a minute. You know what I'm going to do? I will just um, get you to check out the uh, Jonesy's intro to their show. So this is the Bikers Australia show. G'day, Jonesy from Aussie Bikers here. Filming is well underway for our first episode. We've been to some great events, including Harley Days, Men and Machines, and the annual Polly's Ride. To stay in the loop, head over to aussiebikers.com and sign up to the mailing list. We'll let you know when the first episode is online. In the meantime, check out our video archives for some great memories from temporary Australians. See you out there. Show me something up. Tap the friends icon up there, invite some of your mates. Click invite all your mates. Type them a quick message to tell them that we are awesome and hit that send button. Do you want to invite a friend to watch? Okay, now, friend, request, friend, request. All right, back again with Tim. Sorry about that. I just, um, those bloody notifications get me only to every time, and I, I text a whole bunch of people a, um, a link to the show so that um, so that they wouldn't miss it, and as a result, I've got, like, 400 bloody uh, text messages coming back at me. And, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, <laughs> you get that. But, um, okay, so welcome, Tim, and um, yeah. tell us... Uh, what else you do? So obviously, I, I know that you're a cameraman. I know that you're a producer. I've found a thing on Facebook about a band you're in, and um, so give us the full rundown, mate, on on Tim. What makes Tim tick? Yeah, sure. Well, um, yeah, I love motorcycles and I love making TV programs, and that's how I got into this gig. Um, yeah, other than that, you mentioned I'm into music. Um, I'm a part of a motorcycle club called Brotherhood CMC. We're a Christian uh, motorcycle club. So that, um, yeah, so those things combined as well as, you know, time with my family. I've got a little two-year-old boy and another on the way. Um, yep. That's what kind of keeps me busy. Yeah, cool. I, um, so Brotherhood's the same uh, club that Greg was in, isn't it? That's right. Yep. Yeah, I'm stating the obvious, but yeah. <laughs> um, and speaking of which, we um, obviously uh, we uh, lost Greg last year and um uh so a great loss to the uh, you know to the motorcycling community at large but um but also to you personally i'm sure and uh you know his That's family right. his wife colleen beautiful wife colleen mm. and um mm. 
And we lost the show Temporary Australians, which is now being replaced by Aussie Bikers. And um, I just, right. look, I put together a little tribute for Greg. I thought I might just um, play that just to uh, yeah, great. Just so we can remember him. And I've uh, got a few classic shots of both of us in there. see some shots of uh, none of us with any grey hair. Not that you've gone grey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there, mate. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. So, um, okay, Aussie Bikers is out. Um, tell us about the show. Well, like you mentioned, it's a continuation on from Temporary Australians. Look, Temporary Australians, we decided that we'd finish up because so much of what that show was was Greg Hurst. Yeah, sure. Um, so we thought, you know, we... We needed to honour him and and um and and leave that show as it was. And I thought, well, you know, um, Temporary Australians has been you know popular and it fills a void. And um, for all us bikers out there, lifestyle bikers particularly that enjoy getting out there and getting on our bikes and hanging out and meeting people and going to show and shines and all that stuff, we thought we'll we'll keep something going. And uh, I thought, well, I'll put some, I'll do something for the next twelve months. And if people are responding, people are liking it, we'll just keep it going. Um, so so far so good. We've only just launched the first episode, but um, yeah, just kind of continuing on what Greg was was wanting to do with, you know, just putting a positive image of motorcycling out there and um, yeah, just just sharing in the fun, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and uh, look, we both of us had some good times with Greg, and um, we've been on a few rides together and stuff. But um, yeah. yeah, and it's good to see. Obviously, Jonesy's still in it. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. hanging in. And um, so, what have you got planned for the new year? Um, this year, well, a lot of it's we're just kind of playing it by year at the moment. We've got um, I've, I've committed to doing we're doing six episodes this year, um, mm-hmm. but I'm all, already discovering that it's probably going to have to be more than that because I've already got all this backlog of um, stories that we're going to put out there. So um, we'll see how we go this year. But yeah, so we're we're covering um, all sorts of events at the moment. Uh, I know I've, I've copped a bit of flack for you know just uh, covering stuff along the east coast and particularly around Sydney because that's where I'm based. Yeah, it's easy. But, um, mm. you know, wherever the sponsor dollars are, kind of, I have to follow them a little bit. But well, that's um, it. Like a show obvious... like this, sorry, sorry to cut you off, but a show like that doesn't yeah. happen without sponsor dollars. And we, uh, Hunter no, Motorcycle, right. sponsored Greg for a lot of years. And yeah. um, uh, so who have you got on board? Obviously, you have to have chase sponsors to get the show up and running. So who have you got on board for sponsors this year? Yeah. Well, so far, um, Harley's on board. So that for all the people out there saying, oh, not just another Harley show, too many Harleys. Well, sorry, there will be Harleys there, but I think most people will be happy about that. Um, we've also got uh, Maurice Blackburn Lawyers on there who um, deal with a lot of the most like cycling issues and things like that. So we're going to talk to them throughout the year about what's, you know, what are the issues going on at the moment. And, and also, you know, bikers like to chip in and, and, um, and help when there's an issue, mm. particularly like legislation or something that affects us personally. Um, so hopefully we can be a little bit more practical and and um, tell people how they can you know what they can do to try and change some of these laws and whatnot. Uh, yeah. So they're on board, which is great. And um, Weld on Wheels, uh, they're a, a touring um, business and, yeah. and they've been for twenty five years odd, I suppose. They've okay. been running tours all over the world. Um, yeah, for people that want to explore did, further than this country. I yeah. did grab a little clip of that off you and I'll show that in a, in a minute. But um, is that a husband and wife team? It is, yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, right. It looks like they're doing pretty cool stuff. And I know I've spoken Absolutely. to quite a few people just recently that have um, headed off overseas specifically for um, a motorcycling holiday. So, you know, there's tours in Vietnam and stuff. And um, and yep. it seems like something that people are right into. Hey, our a mm. young guy that we're sponsoring, Ben Bullock, he's doing a ride from Perth, Australia to Perth, Scotland. And um, I'm sure if you're um, out there around the world somewhere and bump into Ben, he'd, uh, he'd be a valuable contributor to your show. And, um, Absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah. And is that it for the um, sponsors? Have you got? Uh, well, we we have um, sponsors that kind of come on and and sponsor a segment or perhaps a show or a club or someone mm-hmm. that wants to to showcase something. So, first episode we went down to the Bombala Bike Show, which is an old school kind yeah. of bike show, and so they sponsored us to go down to that event. And um, 
So we covered that. And we also, we looked at a product as well in the last one called Cool My Hog, which is basically a fan system to keep the your Harley engine cool, something yeah. similar to like the, you know, the Love Jugs or something like that. But it's Australian made and it's a lot cheaper. And so, yeah, so we, we're kind of hopefully trying to work with, um, with Australian manufacturers and producers like yourself and just, you know, just try and promote what we're doing in Australia. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, so I don't have a clip of the fans, but um, look, we were talking about Bombala a minute ago and um, you yeah. did send me a clip through for that. Why don't we uh, take a look at it? Sure. We got a break in the weather. Everyone hung about. They didn't go home. They wanted to party on. So we thought, why not? We'll do our best to keep everything going. We've had uh, a few impromptu burnouts. A couple of tires popped. Nice spread of bikes, Harleys, Suzuki's, and dirt bike. This is my old race bike, nicknamed it Eleanor, because it's had a few guys that are trying to kill me. So um, yeah, basically just a stripped down Gixxer. 161 horses in the back wheel, weighs about 150 kilos, loves tires. Got the 300 k's again, so that was happy with that one. That was absolutely awesome. The poor old girl's had a bit of a hard life, but she uh, stood up to one more this year, and uh, I think it might be time to retire the poor old girl. Yeah, last road burnout comps has been here and uh, put in a big effort, top cog, rev limiter, just singing. Everyone loves burnout, so go out and stir them up and try and make it a fun day. Oh yeah, everybody loves a skid, you're living the dream mate, you uh, get out there amongst it. That's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, um, you obviously you ride motorbikes yourself and I know this I because do. I've seen you hanging off the back of my brother's bike at... Um, speeds we won't mention but um look it's yeah, a fairly it's, demanding it's, job like to get the footage i mean you've got to obviously you can't say okay start the ride stop the ride let me catch up and and blah blah so you've got to you're getting there you're taking and, and all that stuff is just filmed by you it's not like there's two cameramen or anything like that right. and I've, I've seen you know like you're capturing the a takeoff of a ride and then you jump on the back of a bike with a with an expensive camera hanging off the side there and whipping around and catching up and getting through the pack and it's pretty exciting stuff and uh and the the footage that you've that you've got especially stuff that you've done for us um has been yeah. sensational and uh big thank you to my brother andrew for uh steering you around there and, and not hurting you and um I've yep, got, yep. I've, just tell us about um tell us about that process mate oh. yes sure <laughs> um well it's 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 actually it's kind of changed over the years because when we started with temper australian seven years ago um i i wasn't sure you know i thought gopros or something was the way to go and and um you know so we used some gopros here and there but then i just wanted to get on the back and, and shoot with the camera at the time i was shooting with quite a large camera which added to the challenges um but kind of as we uh as we went on um yeah i kind of changed the gear that i'm using and now i'm using actually this this uh, i don't think we've used it on any of the hunter shoots but i've got this little gimbal camera that um that I can shoot off the back and it keeps it very still and it's quite compact so I can kind of get all the shots I need to get and hang off the bike and stuff. So yeah, sure. it's getting easier as I go. The, the quality um, of that the footage gear, is getting better. The quality of that mm. gear has come up, price down, size down. It's, it's certainly made your Absolutely. job a lot easier. But um, I've got a clip of right. here of how you did it the hard way. Just have a look at this. Yep. <laughs> stuff and it does bring back some great memories doesn't it it does yeah hey, absolutely um, yeah now another thing I, and i only found this out today um we've been to send uh, dirt drags together um for, yep. for other stuff but i didn't realize you were a dirt dragger yourself is that is that the go uh a very 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 amateur dirt dragger i um i had the opportunity to um well actually we were shooting a story with uh host of hostile um, cycles um, a few years back and and uh, we were just on his farm and 
and he and Jonesy had a run on it, and he said, "Oh, Tim, do you want to take it for a run?" And I, I was being polite, and I said no, and it was something I regretted for years and years and years. Mm. And then I was at um, a, a, a show called Men and Machines, and they had, where they basically had everything from monster trucks and tanks to motorcycles to all sorts of stuff, and and um, Craig Archer had had his hostile um, bike, the exact same one that I was offered uh, a ride on uh, a few years earlier, and and he had just gotten banged up in a in a in a quad accident and uh he wasn't going to run it that day so i said oh do you want someone to run it you know thinking yeah right he's not going to let me have a go on it and he goes yeah all right go for it so um i jumped on that 700 kilo beast and uh and had a bit of a blat not knowing what i was doing and it was fun (laughs) it sounds like they're going oh yeah speak to me jonesy oh you probably can't see that just got a um just got a I thought I turned all those notifications off. Just got a text message from Jonesy saying, why did you put Tim on the show and not me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he always wants his mug on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. He's uh, yeah, gone pretty used to being the front front of the cameraman. Um, <laughs> it's your turn today, Tim. Anyway. That's all right. That's all and, right. Um, yeah, so I think I've got a clip. D- did you send me a clip of a V8 drag bike? I've got that here I somewhere. Did. Let's there. Yeah, let's take it. Let's take a look at that. It's a V8 sand drag dirt drag bike. It's a hostile bike built by Hoss. I've been yeah racing bikes with Hoss for a while. I took over this one now and just been riding it when I get the chance. I come off a quad bike. Ah uh, yeah, I broke a whole heap of ribs and done a few internal sort of things yeah so i'm a bit sore at the moment so i probably won't be riding it today but i'll see if we can con someone else to get on it so how was that brother it was a bit harder than i thought it would be yeah. not that i thought it would be easy but um going in a straight line's fine yeah. it's when you stop on this slop and it's slippery and it's very heavy oh wicked stuff man awesome awesome hey um Speaking of which, I have some. We did um, oh, a while back. We, uh, we were watching my young brother do some uh, dirt dragon, and uh, I got yep. some clips of him practicing at the paddy because it's the same. Like, it's the same for everybody. You got to you've got to try it once for the first time. And uh, yep. he had unfortunately lost his license for a fairly long stint, and he had a. Um, a diner with a uh, 120R race motor in it and um, yep. sitting there not able to ride it and the temptation was pretty pretty strong I, I'd imagine so um, he put a longer swing arm on and a paddle tyre He did do a story on that and it's in the, um, the last series of Temporary Australian so it's worth a look Now you've been to Westdale a few times, mate? Yeah, yeah. They, they also, um, we have the Westdale events and other clubs put on sand drags here as well, um, you know, Turner Gully sand drags and what have you. And um, so, yeah, come and check them out. I love the sand drags. It's just a great day out. This is the most unusual hunter drag bike I've ever seen. Yes, yes. This is actually my brother's. It's the Royal Ashfelt Hunter Motorcycles drag bike. We, um, we started off with a Hunter Spider and we threw away everything else except the rear guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can still call it a hunter then, yeah, can't you? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So tell us about it. Um, well, it started off as a diner. Um, it's got a 120 cubic inch motor in it. Um, extended swing arm, paddle tyre on the back. And uh, this is the reigning champion, actually. It won at Kalgoorlie a couple of months ago. Hmm. What class is it running? Uh, it's Harley Modified. So is there a lot of competition in that sort of drag race? There is. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good class because it's quite economical. Um, you know, as soon as you start getting into fuel and that sort of stuff, you know, top fuelers and stuff, it gets pretty expensive. Um, this is the first meet out of maybe 10 that this bike's had any problems. You know, you don't bring it back and start working on it. It's, um, it's got Screaming Eagle 120R motor, so it's a pretty reliable bit of gear. A bit of difficulty with it now? Oh, he's just dropped the gear yesterday, but he's still racing. and. Um, yeah, he's a pretty good rider, so he might um, he might pull through with uh, without the gear. Um, why don't you tell us about your band? Oh. Uh, about the band. Well, the band's been a bit quiet of late. But I, I am in a band, which is a 
I guess you'd say we're kind of heavy punk inspired rock. And um, yeah, we've been playing for 10 years now. Uh, we're called Chasing Light. If you want to check it out, uh, you can find us on Facebook or whatever. But um, we play shows here and there. Um, but yeah, haven't done that. Uh, haven't done too many for a little while. Um, we've had children to distract us the last few years, so it's been a bit quiet on. <laughs> but um, it's good fun, though. Yeah, Whenever cool. we can get a yeah, get a bit of a crowd and um, turn up the turn up the sound, we're very happy to do so. Yeah, well, the film clip is unreal. Like the um, it was. Oh, tell us how you shot it. I like I got a fair idea, but yeah, you can tell us in your own words. Oh, the are you talking about the the one with the GoPros? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. We um we basically just rigged up GoPros to every uh, member of the band, um, so for a live show, and so I I had a, a GoPro on the end of a microphone, um, and then we had them rigged on the on the drums and on the on the bass guitar and in different places on the guitars. So the whole clip was basically shot yeah, from from interesting angles and stuff, and yeah, I think it kind of worked. I mean, it probably wasn't the most flattering image of me looking up my nose from the microphone but you know, <laughs> well, you we'll get have that. a look at it i've got some here hang on <laughs> Sounds great, and you can see. Yeah, it's like, what did you have? A, did every every member have a GoPro on them or something? Did they? Or? Yeah, they did. Yeah, we, I think we had. Um, well, we would have had five, and then one for the audience. So I think we had six GoPros running at that point. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Hey, um, yeah, good fun. So you, obviously, you've done a fair bit of travelling. That brings us to the world on wheels, I suppose. Those guys. Um, so have you actually mm. gone and shot stuff with them, or is that um, are they just seen um, the footage? I haven't. Yeah. No, they've they've they did a series actually that was on Seven Mate a few years back, and it was it was a great series. I think there was seven different locations that they went to, and um, yeah, if if anyone's ever travelled overseas, it's you know it's always an adventure. I've done a few trips overseas. Um, probably the best of note was jumping on a Royal Enfield with my wife and doing um, a few weeks just riding around um, from Delhi just um, down to Agra and. And, and around we did we did a round trip about a thousand k's, which doesn't sound like much, but in India that was like I think yeah. it was you know forty you know you know forty forty eight hours of riding or, or whatever it was over yeah, those couple yeah. of weeks. So it yeah. was um yeah that was a, that was a lot of fun. So yeah, so I've always been interested in that and came across <laughs> these guys and we spoke to them and they've got these these videos that I've kind of recut re-edited back down uh, to put into the show just to give people a bit of a flavour of um yeah the different locations that they're doing and just maybe to inspire people to get out there and uh i mean australia is awesome for riding but hey yeah. you know there's um there's a big world out there and it's um it's definitely a different um different thing to be riding around some a place like india or something mm, yeah, cool. it's awesome. hey i probably should have uh asked you this before setting you up on sure. live camera but um the ben bullock the guy that we're sponsoring that's riding a hunter from perth australia to perth scotland's got a um uh, Mavic Pro drone, and uh, that takes oh, awesome yeah. 4K footage. It's it's really sweet, yep. and um, so yeah, he may be able to have a little feature in your show as well. If uh, if absolutely, you're up for it. no, yeah. we'd we'd love to feature that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, well, why don't we have a look at the uh, World on Wheels clip that you got, and uh, and we'll yeah, cool. take it all in. 
Well, I've traveled a lot around this country on, on motorbikes, but what about traveling in the greater world? Like traveling around to crazy places like Morocco or the Himalayas? Well, I've never actually done that, but two people that actually have done that join me in the studio right now are from World on Wheels. We've got Mike and Denise, hello. G'day, Josie. So the most exotic place you've been to? Wollongong. Wollongong? Wollongong. It can Wollongong get exotic. Good. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to get some suggestions from, we've got a whole bunch of people um, watching the live at the moment. Do you want to get some suggestions yeah. of stuff that you want on the show or just have a little scroll through? So yeah. you guys out there, if there's uh, any event that you, um, motorcycling event obviously around the country that you think might be interesting to cover, it doesn't have to be an event. It can be um, it can be something different because it tends to be what happens is you just go from one event to another and it's just sort of a rundown of events. But there's other motorcycling yeah. stuff around the place. You know, there's guys with awesome yeah. sheds or um, there's bike yeah. builders and, and, and all that sort of stuff. So if anyone out there has got any suggestions uh, for Tim, Hit us up, and we'll um, we'll talk about it. And and there is a um, we're running a survey at the moment as well because we've had a lot of people kind of whinging about what they think is going to be on the show, and they're like, oh, it's just all Harley's and this that. Well, how do you mm. know you haven't even seen the show yet? So yeah, um, you know, if people if people want to have a say, now's the time. Actually, get it, get on there because it's it's. Um, you know, we're listening to everyone. Anytime anyone writes a comment on Facebook or something, we're reading it. But if you can jump over to our page and, and get on that survey, that's probably the best way you can tell us what you actually want to see. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So what's your, while well, we're talking about it, what's your, um, what's yeah. the best way for people to get in contact with you? Um, well. Website or Facebook? Facebook or? I mean, Facebook, website, any of that stuff, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on all the time. So yeah. if people, yeah, people just send me a Facebook message or, a, or an email, the email address is on there and all yeah. that. So, so AussieBikers.com, um, is that the, is that yeah, the website? Yeah, exactly, AussieBikers.com, yep. yep. And, um, yeah, check, check in there every now and again. We're, we're putting up events and everything of, you know, all over the whole country and, um, you know, just some some photos and, um, and, and a whole lot of stuff and hopefully we can, in time we can have a bit more discussion on there and, and try and make it as interactive as possible because it's not i guess essentially um aussie bikers is 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 the motorcycling lifestyle through my eyes and through jonesy's eyes um so i guess it is it is definitely a perspective of what i'm doing but um if we can kind of get a bit more discussion happening and you know we want to interview as many people as we can and, and get other people's ideas and perspectives so um yeah that's the idea of it um it's 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 not just me telling you what what to watch and what to do and what to ride you tell me um you know what you want to see and we'll we'll try and cover it yeah, yeah cool yeah i'm just having a look for um suggestions there uh Jason Kennedy, we are lucky to have Tim on board for the Penrith Black Dog Ride yep. in March. Yeah, so what's what's Looking that all about? To that, yeah. Yeah, well, um, the Black Dog Ride happens all over the country, and um, you know, it's in it's to make it awareness and promote uh, men's health issues and, and particularly depression. The Black Black Dog being part of that, and so that's something that I'm you know it's close to my heart as well. So I, I really want to get involved with these guys, and and Jason's um, hosting that one. In it's a, a local ride to me, actually. It's just um, you know over the hill from from where I am, and so we're doing a good run out out to uh, the Grey Gum Cafe, which is, um, which if you saw Temporary Australians, you'd see that's, that's you know, um, you know, northwest of Sydney, that's one of the great rides um, that we can do. So we're, we're having a ride out there to promote, uh, to, to ride that. And I think, Jason, I think we've got, you've got uh, how many registrations, if, if you ride it in there, we can see. And, um, you know, so it's going to be quite a big ride. And um, so we're going to be covering that. So that's happening uh, on the 18th so yeah so if you're in sydney definitely come along to that and pre-register and i think they're uh, giving away a uh, indian bobber so um yeah you may as well get involved and you know be in it to win it oh big shout out to the guys from indonesia we've got a whole bunch of indonesians big, oh, well hunter motorcycles is opened up in indonesia now and in nepal um so we've got a bunch of nepalese and Indonesians on board and they are asking for oh would you like to film in Bali well there you go there's an opportunity I'd, for I'd love to film in Bali yeah, yeah absolutely. all right well, that's something you can look at and um, I can hook you out with some people over there we've got guys over there that um, we came to help out uh, show us a hunter bobber oh okay um, all right so 
this is uh, this is going to test me a bit. Like I've only just done it, done a couple of lives, mate, and um, I've got a fair bit of shit going on here. So it takes me a little while. I'm not that fluent at it. So I've, uh, where are we? <laughs> How's the trike? Hey, Lena, how you going? Yeah, uh, the trike is on the back burner at the moment. <laughs> Someone suggested we get your band to play the Hunter song. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just uh, moving back to uh, the other topic of the day. We have 500 bucks worth of Hunter um, parts and accessories for free available to anyone that buys a Hunter motorcycle between now and the end of March. So you buy the bike from the dealer, the parts come from us. So you go to our online store, register at huntermotorcycles.com.au and um, if you have, if your dealer has sent us a warranty registration for that motorcycle before the end of March next month, 500 bucks worth of free gear. And so we've got some wicked um, meat hook handlebars, fishtail exhausts, turnout exhausts, headlights, grips, uh, dual seat packages, all sorts of stuff there. Everything that you want to um, accessorise your bike, kit it out, and um, it's a, it's a awesome opportunity if you if you're sitting on the fence and you're thinking should i go now should i go later well now is the time to go all righty well thanks very much for uh, for joining us tim yeah you're welcome yeah we'll uh we'll be in touch again i'll be watching the show and uh and uh looking forward to big things to come all the best with it yeah and we're hoping to make it over to uh wa before too long yeah cool all right we'll uh, yeah. be good to see you all right. Fantastic. Thanks again. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, mate. Cheers. All right. Big thumbs, thumbs up for joining us today, guys, and um, stay in touch. Uh, you can always contact us through our Facebook page, Hunter Motorcycles Worldwide, and uh, be happy to talk to you. See you later.